500K is the stock to flow model projection for Bitcoin next year. $589 is the infamous XRP price prediction meme. If these happened, crypto nerds would get girlfriends. We're Cardano girls. Of course we have Charles as our phone wallpaper. Aiden might hit $3 again. And if I still had some, maybe I could even own the Atlanta Falcons with all of my gains. Crypto price predictions can get out of hand, but there's a reason for it. Volatility to the upside is real in this space. But in this video, I'm gonna hop in the DeLorean, travel through time and space to 2025, and bring price predictions back down to Earth's gravitational pull. Let's get it. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, I'm your host, The Bid Boy. If you wanna know the lowest price Bitcoin will test in 2025, stick around to the end of this video. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to stay plugged in for the epic bull run over the next year. Price prediction videos usually focus on the highest price a certain asset might achieve over the course of a market cycle. What kind of wild hopium numbers do we have to look at for a 2025 Bitcoin price prediction, man? They'll also give a personal target price that might not be the highest possible price. I'm gonna show you a different kind of price prediction based on a different set of data. What's the lowest price Bitcoin will sit at next year? Let's look at it from a couple angles. In every bull run year, 2013, 2017, and 2021, the yearly low for Bitcoin was surprisingly close to its opening price on January 1st. In 2013, the Bitcoin price opened at $13.30, with the yearly low coming in at $13. <laughs> That's a Big Mac meal these days. 2017, the Bitcoin price opened at $966, with the yearly low coming in at $784. In 2021, Bitcoin kicked off the year at an impressive $28,990 with a yearly low of $27,678. On average, the dip from the owning price to the yearly low in these bull runs is about 8.54%. Given the volatility that's normal during these years, such a relatively small difference between the yearly open and low is good to be aware of. Might not be a bad place to set a low leverage long around the yearly open with some buy orders to add to the position if it goes a little lower. That is, if other bullish confirmations are to play out, of course. Are you looking for a reliable crypto exchange with low fees and high security? The search can be overwhelming with so many options out there. Join Femax using my affiliate link to get up to an $8,800 trading bonus right now. Experience top-notch trading features, low fees, and strong security. Click the link in the description to get started today. Now that we've covered the yearly lows, let's shift to the big question. What's the average gain over Q4 during each halving year? This way, we can try to get a handle on where the price might open January 2025. Over Q4 of 2012, Bitcoin saw an 8.35% gain. For Q4 of 2016, gains came in at 58.87%. Finally, Bitcoin saw a staggering 170% gain over Q4 of 2020. The average of these gains is 79.07%. Then again, 2012 could be an outlier due to limited price history and low liquidity. And 2020 could be an outlier because a big pump later in the year made up for the price being set behind by the March COVID crash. If you think about it this way, you could just take 58.87% as your number. But let's see what happens if we play with both of those numbers. If Bitcoin starts Q4 at $60,000, a 58.87% gain would bring it to $95,322 by the new year. This could make sense with BTC pushing over 100K in December before pulling back for some tax loss harvesting as we close out the year. If BTC starts Q4 at $50,000, after one last push down this month, a 79.07% gain could bring the price to $89,535 to start the new year. This would mean, according to history, that the low for next year would sit somewhere around the same possible opening prices. Here's where it gets good though. Somewhere around $150,000 is what I've been telling you to watch for this cycle when it comes to BTC's high. The last cycle saw 138% gain from the open to the high in 2021. If you account for diminished returns, a 100% gain from $90,000 would bring the Bitcoin high in at 180 k maybe on a spike? Mm. Remember the yearly low in bull run years has averaged 8.54% lower than the yearly open. Based on the numbers we looked at earlier, I could see the 2025 yearly low coming in around $82,060. Where will you set your Bitcoin buy orders in 2025? Drop your comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this video. That's all I got. Be blessed. Bitboy out.